Hello everyone, welcome to the intro session on MPMC that is microprocessors and microcontroller subject for BTEC ECE brand. Complete subject as per JNTU syllabus is available on Virtue Learn. Sign up at www.virtuallearn.in or download mobile app Virtue Learn from Play Store right away. Once purchased on Virtue Learn, you can access the entire semester content for seven months as per JNTU syllabus. It's like virtual tuition to you at very low cost. Repeat and rewind any number of times till you understand the topic thoroughly. Taught by an expert faculty and with visualization techniques, you love to learn on virtual learn. Access on desktop or smartphone anytime, anywhere. Here we see a sample video. Architecture of 806. Of course, it's external architecture. What we see at the outside of IC, 806 microprocessor. So basically, 806 microprocessor is a 40 pin IC, dual inline package. Means the how it is made is deep package, dual inline package. Dual means on either sides, you have inline, and totally there are 40 pins, 20 on either sides, 20 this way and 20 this way. Totally there are 40 pins. Of course, each pin has got its own function. So 40 pins will have 40 different signals associated. Of course, there are certain pins which are meant for multiple purposes. The same pin serves some purpose in one mode and it serves some other purpose in another mode. So those kind of pins are also there. So it may be 40 pins, but the signals are more than 40. So some pins are used for multiple purposes. So broadly understanding, the signals of 8086 are categorized into three types. First category, signals specially meant for minimum mode. Second category, signals specially meant for maximum mode. This minimum and maximum mode. I just want to brief you once again that 8086 microprocessor will operate in two different modes. The same IC can operate in two different modes. First one, minimum mode. Whenever you build a system where there is only one processor, then the IC functions in minimum mode. In a system where there are multiple processors, multi-processor system, more than one processors are there, then the same IC will now behave in, will now work in maximum mode, another mode. So, if you take an IC which has 40 pins, there are certain pins out of 40 which has some function when the IC works in minimum mode, the same pins will have some other function when the IC works in maximum mode. Of course, third category of signals are there. Signals which have common functions in both the modes. No matter whether the IC operates in single processor mode or multi -process, multi processor mode, that is minimum mode or maximum mode, the functions of those pins will remain same. There's, those pins we say as common pins or common function pins. So totally there are three types of pins or signals issued by the pins. Signals specially meant for minimum mode, signals specially meant for maximum mode, signals which have common functions in both the modes. Hope you liked it. Happy learning on Virtual Learn. 